right now a conversation with L'Oreal on their first half results. Here is their chief executive officer, Jean-Paul Agon. Makeup in the U.S., yeah, it's a bit slow. Uh, it's a bit slow. You know that the makeup market for uh, five years was on fire, uh, growing, booming, etc. So everyone could expect that at a certain time it would slow down. Uh, it is happening now. It's true that for us it's a headwind because we are the number one by far makeup manufacturer in the U.S. So it doesn't help, but uh, it's a cycle. It will go away. Are you seeing any shifts in consumer habits in North America with people going less to retail stores buying NYX or Maybelline and perhaps more towards your competitors like LVMH? Not really. Uh, you know, we, we see many, there are many shifts happening everywhere, of course, and in the U.S. like, uh, like in every, every country. Uh, but it depends. It depends on the channel. It depends on the type of brands. Uh, for example, in, uh, in luxury, clearly, uh, there is less consumption in department stores, more in uh, uh, specialty retailers, uh, more on e-commerce. Uh, mass also is, is changing. So we are adapting to this very but fast. But not fast enough. Uh, it's okay, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not worried. You know, it's also important to, to know exactly to what you want to adapt, you know, because some things are, are pretty sometimes short term. And the very important thing is to understand what would be the long term evolution and to move the business in that direction. You know, globally speaking, uh, I think we are doing pretty well. How long do you expect this decline in North American sales to continue? Uh, you know, I don't know. I cannot say. I think that this year will not be easy, uh, but I can tell you that uh, we are preparing for uh, a nice uh, bounce back uh, next year. And at oh. the same time, as you know, we have some extremely good results in other parts of the world. So it's, uh, you know, it, it can't be uh, perfect everywhere.